Hey, what is going on, pros and press? This is Mr. Lyman HD here, and welcome to another drinks review. Today is going to be a new Monster Hydro. Now, I've got this particular bottle out of uh, BP, which is a fuel station in the UK, and uh, they had their one theirs priced up at I think they were like ooh, one pound fifty or something, which is interesting because I actually reviewed the orange one of these, which I got out of a random corner shop, and it was price marked one pound nine. So, the normal corner shop price is £1.9, but the unmarked price, which will be in our supermarkets, store stations, etc., they'll always rip you off because they're not price marked. So, it was like £1.50. So, anyways, I'll give you guys a 4360 of the uh, bottle. Uh, it is the mean green flavour, so I'm not too sure what that is, but I'm assuming it's like a lime, like a lime, uh, you know, lime flavour. So, the bottle looks fairly cool. We have quite a tall, narrow uh, bottle, so it's kind of a bit weirder, you know. It's, Normally bottles are a bit shorter, but it looks pretty cool being quite long. Uh, we have some ingredients and stuff on the back. Monster logo is blue on the front, and we have lots of uh, little boxes with some explanations. So this is the mean green. It doesn't actually say on the bag what flavour it is, interestingly. Because um, I'm just assuming it's lime. We can see the colour. I know, lime green, my favourite colour. Absolutely love it. And of course, it's monster green. So, glucose-powered Monster Hydro. So, any to drink. Reduce fatigue, increase concentration, vitamins B6 and B3, reduce sugar, which is interesting, and triple filtered water, which is also interesting. So, triple filtered water is just really nice. It's kind of like that small water. It's just really, really just sharp and pure, isn't it? And reduced sugar is always nice. So, Monster Hydro, when you've got work cut out for you or just brushing off a big night, Monster Hydro is a pretty smart move. Powered by glucose, sounds like Lucas Aid, it pulls no punches and combines refreshment with awesome flavour. Welcome to the next generation of refreshing energy drinks. Lightly sweetened and non-carbonated, it sees drinking for when you're going hard at it. That's what she said. Uh, refresh the beast. So, Monster Green Hydro, yep, non-carbonated. Uh, Monster Hydro is formulated, yep. Uh, so, sweeteners, it contains... Uh, it only contains surclose, which is good, so it doesn't contain aspartame. Uh, vegetable oils, coconut, rape. Yes, it actually contains... Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it actually says rape on there, which I think is rapeseed oil or whatever it is. So sugar content is 4.6 grams per 100 ml, which is interesting. So it's definitely half of the normal 10 grams you get per 100 ml for energy drinks. And the total bottle, which is 550 ml, so again, it's that weird shape. It's bigger than 500 um, by 50 ml, which is weird. Uh, total bottle contains 25 grams of sugar, which is good. It's nice and low and not packed full of sugar. Only two vitamins are vitamin B3, which is niacin, and then vitamin B6. Caffeine content is a weird 25 milligrams per 100 ml. So normally they're 32 milligrams per 100 ml, um, but they decided to put it down to 25 for some reason. Maybe because it's a bigger bottle. I don't know. The 25 just seems weird when generally the standard is uh, 32. Not that it makes any difference. Uh, contains 8.8 grams of glucose based carbohydrate per 100 ml and 48 grams per 550 ml serving. Right, that's a mouthful. Anyways, it's nice and cold. Have got cup. Let's go straight to it. Hopefully, it doesn't explode over me. Well, it shouldn't because it's non carbonated. So, like I said, we've seen the colour, but I'm putting it in the cup just for clarity. I'm, I honestly think it's going to be lime green or, uh, you know, lime, a lime flavour, but I could totally be wrong. Probably think it's going to smell of limes as well, if it is that. Ooh. So after pouring it out, it definitely isn't as green as I thought. The bottle, oh, the actual, um, the actual like, label itself is green, as you can see. So it kind of tricked you there. It's more yellowy than anything else. Um, I need to sneeze really bad. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh. So yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely not green. That's definitely yellow. Um, that packaging is a lie. It does not mean that's not green at all. Like, look at my hat. That is not green. That is yellow. Uh, it's cloudy and it is non-see-through. Now the smell it smells of limes, one hundred percent, no doubt. That smell of limes, one hundred percent. You know what this is gonna be? Looking on my wall of energy drinks. You know what? It also it just smelled like the Rockstar's Rockstar's frozen lime, uh, which you can't see on the cover, but it's up there. It just smells like that. But nevertheless, let's uh, taste some. I've got to remember these aren't fizzy. I'm so used to being any drinks being fizzy. Um, mm. 
Hmm. That's interesting. Initial reaction is I prefer this to the to the orange one. This wasn't too nice to bother with you guys. Um, but this one's definitely much better. So I find with energy waters or you know what vitamin waters or anything along those lines, I always find a lot of them just taste weird. I don't know why. I find a lot of them they just taste weird. Maybe because they try to be more natural because they're water and they just taste weird. Um, but for the most part, that does taste better than the other one. It is a lime flavour, uh, nothing else. So it definitely is lime. Uh, for the most part, with the flavour, there's definitely lime there, and it does taste of you know decent limes. But again, because it's just a watery, you know, watery drink, I find I find they just they just they just taste weird. I don't know how to explain it. Every drink I've you know tasted like they just taste weird. Like, you know, there's a bit of lime, but the aftertaste, you know, mm, not too good. Uh, I'll try some out of the bowl. Yeah, I mean, the, probably the more I drink it, it's probably worse it will taste, to be honest with you. Um, but overall, it's just, like, the aftertaste, it's, it's just got that natural, neutral, like, dull taste. It's just, it's, it's that watery... Like, I don't know, it just tastes weird. And even with the sugars going in, it doesn't taste sweet at all. Like, the lime doesn't taste fake or anything like that. It tastes, you know, I said, of a decent lime. Um, for the most part, I just I just cannot get on with these these energy waters and stuff. I just I just don't get on with them. Maybe because they're not fizzy, I don't know. But, I mean, drinking this compared to the frozen lime, you know, drinking the frozen lime feels like you're drinking death because there's, like, what, 80 grams of sugar in those... In some of those full sugar rock stars and stuff, and drinking this, it's much, much, much lighter on you know sugar and stuff, which is better at the end of the day. But you know, if you're going to compare it with sugars, then you just drink the ultras at the end of the day, or, or any other sugar-free equivalent. But hey, oh, it's different. It's new in the UK, you know, maybe in the other countries. But uh, I don't, I don't know if there's any other flavors of these two. I've only seen these two in the past week. Actually, I managed to find. Interestingly, they didn't have this one in BP. This one they did. That's why it's not price marked. Uh, I went to a corner store. We had two of these left, and they had loads of these left in BP. But, anyways, I'll give that a. Again, it's not a thumbs up. It's not a thumbs down. But I wouldn't pick up another one because it's not like super nice. You know what? I've got to give both these wars in the middle. Unfortunately, they're just. I know they're healthy or trying to be healthy. I know they're better. I know they're not fizzy, so they don't destroy your teeth and this, that, and whatever. I know they're both trying to do that. But at the end of the day, they just. If they're not going to taste nice, you're not going to drink it again at the end of the day. But uh, there we are. Every drink can't be nice. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.